Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to Alec and Ella's story. It's kind of getting exciting now. So this is Alec, two months later, after all the Denari stuff went down with Briar Rose, right? Knox and I are back at our favourite gaming couch in my parents' penthouse. We've almost finished level 20 on Magicorum Killers. I've been playing with Ella too, only we've hit level 37. Salam! The main door whips open. Halik! It's Diamond calling to me from the front foyer. Based on the note of anxiety in her voice, she's not happy. Knox pauses again. Want me to stay? Halik! This time, there's some serious hysteria going on. Nah, you better go. Tell Bri say hi. Between me, Knox, Ella and Bri, we've had quite a few adventures over the last few months. Knox and Bri are officially an item. Turns out, She's a werewolf, just like Knox. I will. Knox strides from the room, just as Diamond comes in. Knox does his chin not a thing in my mother's direction. Hey, Diamond. She doesn't even acknowledge him. Oh, this shall be ugly. Diamond stands before me, her face at least three shades of red. She wears a long trench coat and carries a large satchel. After opening the bag, she pulls out a photograph. What's this? I reach out my hand. Diamond places the photo on my palm. It's a picture of me, Knox, Ella and Bri. There are also a ton of dead zombie mummies around us. Long story short, Knox finally got to watch his lifelong nemesis duels get totally destroyed. Did I say we've had an exciting few months? It's true. I hold out the picture and make a great show of examining it. Do you have someone following me? Both you and your father. It seems I can't trust either of you. That's exceedingly rude, Diamond. But I say that with a smile. You can get away with a lot when you smile. Stop avoiding the issue! What is this? I fought some zombie mummies. It's not like we don't have one locked up in the sub-basement. And we do. Another long story. Knox is a new girlfriend. She got in some trouble. I helped. And this. Diamond hands me another picture. This one shows the four of us in Egypt, posing before the pyramids. I took a long weekend in Egypt. As I speak, I'm careful to keep my voice casual. It's another Knox thing. His girlfriend is rather prone to trouble, but it's all good now. I reach for the gaming controller. If you don't mind, I'm almost done with my level here. Diamond moves to block my view of the screen. I don't care about Knox's girlfriend. Diamond pulls out yet another pic. It shows Ella and Bry in Westlake Prep. We all started going there in the fall, so we could spend our senior year together. I arranged it, and though I'd been pretty subtle about the whole thing, guess not. So? Asked Diamond. We all go to the same school, I confirm. Come on, it's not like there are a million versions of Magicorum High. Everyone ends up at Westlake Prep. That's not what I mean. Diamond taps the image. What about her? Sure enough, Diamond points to Ella. It's an effort to keep my features blank, but I manage it. I squint at the images of noticing Ella for the first time. She's buddies with Knox's girlfriend. This... This is the same girl you chatted up at the L Centre, explains Mum. It was right before the first of Charm extravaganza. You were 15. Don't you remember? Of course I remember. But I'm not admitting that to Diamond. All of a sudden, that dream warning from the Queen of Arts appears in my mind's eye, written in red letters. A legend will keep you apart from your true love. I set the dream aside. There's enough to deal with right now. That was years ago. I lean back on the couch and kick my legs out. What's this all about? Diamond pulls another picture on the satchel and hands it over. It's a snapshot of, uh, Ella in a ball gown. Only something about the image doesn't look quite right. What's this? I ask. <sighs> That's Raylin Lily. She was your father's first choice for his glass slipper ball. I tilt my head. His first choice? I had no idea he made a choice for anyone at all. I thought he walked in, met you, and the rest just happened. Sort of. I don't add in all the stuff about the La Charm curse. Mum doesn't handle the topic well, to say the least. Yes. Your father had a first choice. Diamond grips the foot with more force. He proposed to reel in two hours before his glass slipper ball. The couch seems to turn to liquid beneath me. I must have heard you wrong. Did you see legend propose to someone else? Yes. Reel in. Turned him down and married Declan Cinder. Diamond then pulls out the image of the pyramids. That's Raylin's daughter, Ella. I can't believe this. Ella's mother 
was Legend's first love. Yes, and you're traipsing around with her. That's completely unacceptable. Do we understand each other here? Knox is my best buddy. Briar Rose is his mate. Ella is Briar's best friend. I can't avoid this girl. Listen to me, son. I don't care what you do or where you go. We got Knox an apartment so you can have parties and that's fine. But Ella Cinder... Mum grabs her foot and jams them back in her satchel. She's off limits. Diamond stomps out of the room. I slump back against the couch. So that's why Diamond lost it when she first saw Ella. My father proposed to Ella's mother. Whoa. I rub my neck and think things through. Cut Ella out of my life entirely? Never. Clearly my father made his mistake and lost his love. There's no way I'm losing mine. Now that makes sense. Now we find out why Alex mother Diamond hates Ella. It's nothing to do with Ella. It's because Legend, her husband, was initially in love with, obviously, Ella's mum. And she turned him down. So Diamond kind of got the second choice, not the first. And that's where her bitterness comes from. Great. <laughs> but at least we can see the bigger picture now, right? Thanks for listening to this episode and many blessings.